Welcome to my first showing of my latest project. It is a redstone simulator in Minecraft. Now, it is a 10x10 10 10 grid that's completely sandboxed, so you can place anything wherever you want. It contains three blocks, wires, torches, and blocks. Wire acts normally, torches act normally, they give power to wire, and if a block is turned on, then it inverts the torch, so you can make any kind of logic gate on this thing. Um, Currently, I just have a line of wire set up. It does not have the 15 block limit like normal wire, uh, nor does it care direction wise. It just outputs to all the neighboring cells. So, um, I have inputs for all the cells on the bottom layer right down here. So, you can turn on and off everything, and then, of course, the torch out. Uh, inverts here. Um, there's a button and a lever, so you can quickly just pulse it, or you can flip the lever and keep it on. And there we go. It just quickly went around. Um, does all sorts of things. Uh, it, you punch in uh, the things you want using XY coordinates. Uh, it's just like an XY grid, that's 1, 1, and then this is uh, 10 on X, and that's 10 on Y. So it just uses a standard one. Um, you punch in by, uh, this is the X axis, so you just press whatever number you want, and uh, Y axis over here. Then over here is the control to tell it what you want to put in there. You can put a block, a wire, a torch, or you can just delete whatever happens to be there. Um, it updates very quickly. The wires take one tick to update, uh, so it'll turn on, and that's why it goes around so fast. Torches and blocks, uh, to invert a torch, it just takes uh, three ticks. Torch takes three ticks to turn off then. Uh, so, not terribly slow. It does not use any form of computer-like processor. It just uses, like, I guess, cells to calculate everything. It doesn't have a clock inside of it. It just constantly is updating all the time. All right. So with it, you can make clocks, logic gates, and I'll just show that real quick. I'll just turn it on wire. I'll place a wire at 10, 9, 8, 7, 2. So we go to the X thing, turn it on 7, and Y is already on 2. And... Then I'm going to punch it in. It's not like you have to turn it off or anything to um, get it going again. It'll just automatically go. You can just put in whatever you want. And we got a little clock going here. So it's just constantly turning on and off the torch. So it just continues to pulse, goes in all directions, and all that kind of stuff that you'd want in a simulator. Um, so. I'll just delete that now, and it'll just stop cycling. Alright, it's turning off. There it goes. I haven't put anything in these upper cells. They work. I just decided I'd just do it in the lower area, because it takes forever sometimes to punch you know, 10 of them in. Um, the processing unit, it's about 100 by 100 and then 20 or 30 tall. It's in the back behind here. This is the graphical area. The system has 700 bits of memory, 300 for the graphics, and 400 for the processor. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, Redstone Inception, I believe.